Hey everyone, it is uh, Jesse Schultz here. I'm at the True Value in Maple Heights because we are doing something very exciting today. We are giving away free lead testing kits, 1,000 fr free ones uh, throughout Northeast Ohio. We're at the Maple Heights one because Maple Heights is actually a hot spot and one of the worst affected areas when it comes to lead testing. We've partnered with True Value Hardware and Pro Lab to again to give out those 1,000 free lead testing kits. But there are 12 other locations where you can grab these kits. There's uh, the one in Conneaut, the True Value Hardware on Euclid Avenue in Willoughby. There's the one in South Euclid on Mayfield Road, uh, the one on Portage Street in North Canton, Hickory Street in Clinton. Pearl Road in Brunswick, East Royalton Road in Grafton, Prospect Road in Strongsville, and the one in Broadview Heights on Broadview Road, and two in Cleveland, the one on St. Clair Avenue in Cleveland, and East 131st Street in Cleveland. Now, when some of you think of lead, you may be thinking of the Flint water crisis, but thousands of children here at home are also suffering. It's been a problem for decades. We've been reporting on it, but mostly uh, in the Cleveland area, it comes from lead based paint in older homes and the peeling of it. Kids can ingest that and that's really where the problem starts. Many, many homes were painted with lead paint up until 1978 when it wasn't allowed anymore. But just because it's not practice anymore does not mean that that paint is gone. It's especially a problem in rentals in some of the poorer neighborhoods in our areas. But I mean, just this year, an alarming study found that about a quarter of Cleveland kindergartners, just think about that, a quarter of Cleveland kindergartners had elevated levels of lead in their system, which shows just how big of a problem this still is. And another scary thing about lead poisoning is that once it gets in a child's system, it is there for life and the effects are devastating and permanent. And you know, we just spoke with a Cleveland man yesterday who told us about his son, Demetrius, who died in 2007 from complications due to lead poisoning. His dad says he didn't know anything was wrong. And at first it just started as aggressive behavior and problems paying attention in school. So he would just watch his son closely. But then, I mean, eventually it progressed and it turned into liver and kidney problems. They were living uh, in CMHA at the time when his son was first diagnosed with the poisoning at 10 years old. His father told us that when his son died, his last words were that no other kid should suffer like he had had to. And that was in 2007. So since then, his dad has been really working to get legislature and hold people account accountable. But he says it's not just about one administration and holding one administration accountable because the problem has spanned decades. It's about all of us coming together, communities and civic leaders alike. And that is happening because just this week, community advocates talked to Cleveland City Council and gave their recommendations on what should be done to fix this. So that's an exciting thing that people are coming together. And some of the recommendations that they talked about were holding landlords accountable because a lot of this has to do with problems stemming from old rental homes and making sure that every home is lead safe by 2021. So it is on some of our community leaders agendas. But again, we are here to get the word out. Um, we are partnering with True Value Hardware and Pro Lab to get these tests given out um, once these stores open you can come and pick them up again at those locations that i named i'm going to name them again just so that we can be clear so this one i'm at maple heights there is here are the other locations there's 13 locations that we are doing this at the other locations are in conneaut uh, willoughby south euclid north canton clinton brunswick grafton strongsville Broadview Heights and two in Cleveland, one on St. Clair Avenue and one on East 131st Street in Cleveland. But again, stick with News 5 because we have been reporting about lead poisoning for such a long time. And today, uh, Joe Pakanakis is taking an even deeper look into the effects that lead poisoning has had um, on kids in Northeast Ohio. He's going to start that reporting at four. But uh, for now, I am live in Maple Heights. Jesse Schultz. News 5.